Fighting games are inherently competitive. You are fighting a living, breathing human, and their decisions will affect yours and vice versa. The game is always evolving, and winning decisions aren't the same between each round. Adapting to your opponent's play is an important part of fighting games that you need to be doing in order to become stronger. Regardless of what fighting game you play, from anime fighters, other 2D fighters, 3D fighters, and even Smash games, you can learn to better process and adapt to situations. Adapting can be tough because there's multiple places you'll have to make adaptations. In addition to each of these places, there's also numerous sequences you'll have to understand in order to adapt. It's important to remember that progress isn't linear, and sometimes you'll feel like you're not making progress in adapting. Recognizing the situation that is causing your problems may be tough, and you'll often have to start very slowly. Take baby steps to first learn what situation is causing your problem before figuring out the appropriate counterplay. We can learn how to adapt to any situation by looking closer at what causes it. There's four steps that I like to follow when I'm learning to adapt to something. Those are recognition, truth, reason, and solution. Recognition is the first part of the process. In order to know what you'll need to adapt to, you need to first recognize the situation that's happening. This can be tough depending on where you're focusing your attention at the time. In games where you're very focused on neutral, it may be very easy to recognize a neutral situation you're losing, but harder to recognize where you're losing on offense and defense. Let's work on applying recognition. In this situation, I'm chasing an advantage that I earned in neutral. However, the situation quickly turns against me. After being knocked down, I block a short string of attacks, and expecting to block another attack, I suddenly get hit. What is happening here? I end up taking a lot of damage for this interaction. The next step is understanding the truth of the situation. This is what is actually happening that is causing you to lose the situation. If you're losing to something while on defense, this may be the property of a move that is causing you to get hit. It's important to understand the truth of the situation because this narrows down the solutions that will be able to work in this scenario. The third step in the process is understanding the reason for the situation. Why is this happening to you? If your opponent is choosing an option that's working, there must be some logic behind it. Even if they're just mashing, it is still working against you, so you should figure out why they are mashing there. And finally, we have the solution. What is the correct adaptation to make to beat this scenario? Once we understand how to recognize it, the truth behind it, and the reason they're doing it, we should be able to formulate a solution that works. In this scenario, we think a throw may be coming, so we'll try to stop it with an attack or by jumping out. At this distance, the opponent needs to get closer to us in order to throw, so putting out an attack that stops them from moving forward is a good solution. It's important to remember that one solution won't beat every option your opponent has. If your opponent had decided to do a quick attack there, instead of trying to dash up an attack or run up and throw, then they might have won that interaction instead. Always be looking out for how your opponent changes their actions based on the new situations you present. Let's review the process one more time. Step one is recognize that you're losing a situation. Step two is to find the truth behind that. What is special about this situation that is causing you to lose and what are the facts? Step three is to understand the reason. Why is your opponent choosing that option and why is it beating your options? And step four is to find a solution. Test out a few different things that might work. If it's something that is grounded, such as a throw, try jumping or getting around it. If it's an attack they're doing, try pushing them out and avoiding it. There's going to be a lot of solutions usually to a problem, so experiment and find one that works for you. My final word of advice is to always use the resources given to you. Recreate the situation in training mode, Use wiki resources such as Dustloop to understand the properties of moves, and also ask your opponent if you're having trouble understanding why they're doing a certain option. It may take some time to learn how to adapt, however it's worth understanding the process so you can apply it to other situations as well.